Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to host or deploy a dockerized project with back 4 app containers. I have divided this video into three parts. First of all, we will see what is back 4 app and what are its services and benefits. Then we will go practical and see the step by step way to deploy a simple Node.js express based project on back 4 app containers. Finally, we will go ahead and also learn how to deploy a react application on back 4 app so you get the most benefit out of this video. So let's get started. Back4 app is a cloud platform for building, deploying and scaling applications. This is an AI powered solution that increases developer productivity, eliminates DevOps and accelerates the time to market. Basically, we can create and ship an entire project from scratch using Back4 app which at the end will also be powered by modern Docker containers. Back4 app contains three main services or products. Backend as a service through which you can create a real-time database and at the same time write RESTful APIs within Back4 app itself and then use the full backend in your local project such as in React or HTML projects. So in short it provides an entire backend as a service. Then we have the next service that Back4 app provides and that is containers as a service. Now with this one you can deploy your dockerized application from a git repo and get it hosted right away. And this is the one that we are going to cover in this video practically. Finally, the third service that Back4 app has for us is an AI agent. Now this is an amazing one because with this one we can build, deploy and make changes to the apps with just using prompts and this is great for automation. So as I said in this video we are going to cover container as a service. So let's start the practical work and first of all let's see the step by step method to deploy a simple Node.js express based application to Back4 app. Let's sign up to Back4 app. I would like to sign up with my GitHub account. I will click authorize Back4 app and there you go I am logged in. Now if this is your first time using Back4 app. It will ask you a few questions. Now I'll give my answers and once I am done, it will bring me to the main screen where now I can choose a product. So as I don't want to discuss any other things in this video, I will simply focus my eyes on containers and deploy web app. As you can see now it says to create a new docker container app from source code. We need to select an existing git repository and this is going to be my first project. So as we don't have any project at the moment, so what we basically need to do here is that we need to create a project, get the code ready and dockerized, create a github repository, push the code there and then come back and import the repo here. Also as you can see we have a solid free trial to test the service and if you really liked it, you can definitely upgrade your account to pro by using the additional discounted link I have for you in the description box below. It is a 25% off sign up link. Make sure to check it out. So anyways, I hope you got it. And now let's go to any directory in your machine and let's create our first project. So I am in a directory called back for app. Let's create a new folder. I will name it to express app and let's open this up in VS code. First of all, I will create a package.json file by writing the command as npm init y and it will create the package.json file for us. Next, let's install the packages that we need in our app. At the moment, I think I only need express. Next, I will create a file called as app.js where all my logic will sit. So let's create a simple application where we will fetch posts from JSON holder API and show them as JSON data on the slash route of our express server. I have already the code for that which I am pasting here. Now it also has an Axios library, so let's install this first. So in terms of working, as you can see our posts data is just awaiting for a function that basically fetches the fake posts from JSON placeholder API, which you might already know. I will also put the link to it in the description box below in case if you are not familiar with it. And using the conditions we are checking if data is there, then we are sending it as a JSON data back to the requested URL. So to test the app locally, let's run the server with the command as node app.js. And if I open my browser, 
here you can clearly see that we are successfully getting all the posts and our express app is successfully running. Now before pushing this project to github, we need to make sure that it is also containerized. So I will create a docker file in the root directory and in this file we need to write the docker commands. First of all I will pull the official node image from docker. Then I will set the working directory as slash user slash src slash app. Then I will copy package.json files to the container location. Then as we have copied the package.json file, I will write the command as npm install to install the required packages. Then I will write copy dot dot to copy remaining files such as app.js file to the container. After that I will expose the port 3000. And finally I will write the command as node app.js and with this we are done with the docker file. Now I will build it with the command as docker build dash t and the name of the container. I will call it express app and then I will write period sign to make sure that the docker file is located in the current directory which we need to build. Ok we have an issue in the copy command. There should be space between the periods. I will try to rebuild it. And yeah this time it is successful. Now I will run the project as docker run the name of the project and before the name I will do the port mapping as dash p 3000 colon 3000. Now as you can see our express app is listening at port 3000 from container. So to verify this let's open docker desktop and there you can clearly see our docker container is successfully up and running. So we are done with the dockerizing our project. Now let's finally push the code to github. So I will create a new repository on github. I will call it express-app-docker and let's write a short description, leave it as public and create repository. Before doing any git work, let's create a .gitignore file to make sure that not to push node modules to github. Now I will write the commands to push the code. First of all let's write git add dot it will add everything to the staging and to check it out you can run git status command. So next I will write git commit dash m. Let's call it initial commit. Then we can write the command as git remote add origin and let's copy paste the origin from github. Finally let's push the code using git push origin master. Now we have successfully pushed the code to github as well. So now let's go back to our back for app and here let's click on import github repo. Choose only select repositories and select one which you want to import. I will choose my express-app-docker that I just created and click on install and authorize. Now click select and here you can choose your app name. I will call it express-app and here just to let you know that you can add env variables if your app has. My one doesn't have it so I will simply leave everything as it is and click on create app. Now we are done with the main job and now it is the time for back for app to deploy this project on their domains and give us the sweet live link back to us. And there you can see it is deploying the project. We can check the logs and all deployments that we have and other metrics. So as you can see it is done. Now if I click on the live link there you can see our express app is live. So I think back for app is an excellent platform for anyone who is looking to deploy his dockerized projects, either his personal projects or business ones. It is a one go solution for him which comes with a decent free tier and easy setup. Now to look up for more queries, I will put the official back for app documentation link for deploying an express application down in the description box below. So feel free to check it out. Now let's move further and see how to deploy a react project on back for app. And with this you will get the most value out of this video. So here we have a simple react application with just a card component that is basically a simple card which is just showcasing a technology and it is having some props which are passed from the main app.js file where the card is called. And I am just mapping an array of data file which I have in the src as you can see in my folder structure. And the data includes a title, description and an image of a technology. And I have three objects there. Then I have all my CSS in the index.css file. And that's it. Now if I run this project by opening a new terminal 
and with the command as npm run dev it will be started and as you can see it works well and we have our simple react app running on port 3000. Now it's time to make it containerized in order to be able to push this or deploy this on back 4 app. So let's follow the same steps as we done before in the express project. And one thing more as create react app is getting older and not supported by react team anymore. So this project is using the latest react plus Vite setup which is the most recommended way to build react applications these days. So anyways let's create a docker file in the root and here I will actually copy paste the following commands and don't worry I will share the official step by step documentation for deploying both react and node.js in the description box below. So you can easily see and deploy any of your own personal projects on back 4 app. Anyways how we are containerizing this react app is that first we are pulling the official node image on the top then we are creating container directory then we are adding package.json files to the container then we are installing the packages that we need then we are copying remaining files to the container finally we are running the build command inside it and now as we need a server to launch the app so we are using some nginx and its default configuration then finally by using nginx we are running our app so let's build the docker file by running the following command and I have called my container as react-app and once the build is successful I will run the project using this command. Also don't forget to do the port mapping. In my case I am using the same port number 80 for my app that nginx uses and let's see if it is running successfully. So as you can see it is running successfully inside the container. I can also see it in my docker desktop. Finally as we have containerized the project so let's go ahead and push the code to github next. Before doing that I need to create a new repo on github. So I will call it react-app-docker, write some short description, let it be public and finally let's create the repo. Now in the terminal first of all let's initialize the project then let's write the add dot command. Then we need to write the commit message. Next I will add the origin by copying from the github repo. And finally let's write git push origin master to finally push the code. Now as you can see we have also pushed the code to github. So the final step is to now connecting this repo with our back 4 app to deploy the app and to make it live. Here in the back 4 app I will create a new app. Then edit github permissions and select my repo. After that I can call it react-app and as I don't have any ENVs so I will simply click create app. And now back 4 app will start its job and deploy the project on their side. And once done I will click the link to view my project. So congratulations as you have successfully containerized and then deployed a react application on back 4 app and made it live and available for the world. Now the bonus point is that you can also make this deployment automatic and which is the feature that we get out of the box when using back 4 app. Which means now anytime you make changes to your app, you only need to push the code to github and back 4 app will detect the change and update your app automatically with the exact same link. So let's see it in action. So I will go to my react app and let's make a small change. I will replace the essentials with technologies in my app.js file and now let's see the status. As you can see we have a change and now let's commit the change and push it back to github. Now let's go back to back 4 app and there in the deployments you see we have a new deployment started automatically and it also contains our new commit message. So once done you can click the link to check the update and there you go now it is technologies. So how awesome it is. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it. At last I want to say don't forget to check out back 4 app and start using this amazing platform for your next projects. I have also mentioned the bonus link in the description which you can use to get additional discounts if you really like the product and want to upgrade in the future. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.